hello everybody uh, we have this phantom here and today I will show you how to add just uh, uh, working pivots when you work in such angles it's not for front left right it's when you work like on this phantom you see we have this uh, when we created the object or imported we have this situation here that we cannot we want to rotate in this pivot like uh, I did here we want to rotate in this connection with the where the bolt is co located so I will show you uh, my way my way how uh, I do to rotate to place pivots at the right uh, position one thing you have to remember, you have to work in this situation, not in view, word, anything. You have to work in local. You have to remember to be in a local. So we want this pivot to be nice here. I will show you the way I do it. I create a cylinder. We can see it. A small cylinder, and then we have to place it just around here. Select and place tool here. Then we isolate those two elements. And we want our pivot to be here. So I select, uh, we can do everywhere you want, we can here or here, but I select this, polygons, shift, new object, we go to the new object, cap, to close it. And, and and you have to uh, remember now that we have to work on the right side of the normal if it's wrong you flip it or work on the other side because if the flip is this way we flip it this way we take our uh, shaft select and place it will not uh, it will not uh, follow so again uh, we isolate this and this now to, to, to see better see we take now select and place tool and we want to go in the middle it will not go in the middle because the The normal is flipped, it, it follow only outside. So we flip the right way, select and place again, and now you see we follow all the element. And now I do it uh, this way, that I place it uh, just about manual. But if you want, uh, you can use uh, snap and toggle, right click. And this is uh, the shape is, is very, uh, you can follow vertex here. But we want to have it in the middle. So it's center face. But this face, computer cannot uh, select a middle. It takes triangles for us. If it's a if it's a, a square object, it will be just perfect to go in the middle. Or if you have an element with the p vertex in the middle, it, then you take vertex and use vertex. But uh, we will just center face, 
switch it off just about this and now we can remove remove our helper delete isolate back isolate those two elements again our shaft let's say the pivot has to be here for our arm so now we select this element we take a hierarchy affect pivot only align and we align to our shaft an important thing local remember and orientation here all of them you have to select here okay switch off we can delete our shaft or use it later for other elements and we can use also link info and lock sorry not for it uh, yes but select and rotate and we uh, lock X and Y and now our arm will follow the the way, way we want and and the same we do with all the complicated elements and this is the most complicated uh, working in the angle so if you master this you can move every pivot you want and work as you want you can move the pivot to this line to everything you want i hope you enjoy it and uh, if you like it subscribe thanks for watching